Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Grammarly on phone. So this is a tutorial for Android or for iPhone. So the steps are here in here that you'll be seeing in this video are going to be the same thing. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here for us to start using Grammarly is we need to first install Grammarly and set it up. So let's go ahead and go to Google Play Store, search for Grammarly, and in here, what we need to do is we need to install it. So look for Grammarly AI Writing Assistant, click on Install to install the app itself, and from here, what we need to do is we just need to wait for the installation to complete. Now, once the app has been successfully installed, just click on the open button here or look for the Grammarly icon that you see on your mobile device. Now, in here, what we need to do next is we need to get started or we need to set this up. So let's go and click on get started here. And from here, we need to uh, basically agree to their terms and conditions and privacy policy. So let's go ahead and click on agree here. But in this case, if you want to read those first, you can go ahead and click on the appropriate links to read them first. In this case, we need to allow to show suge uh, writing suggestions for us so let's go ahead and click on open settings here and from here make sure that you allow this one and from here once you've allowed that it's going to redirect you back into grammarly and in this case it's now going to ask you to allow us to check text and in this case what you need to do click on open settings again and from here it's going to give you some uh details about this one so currently they have accessibility permissions acquired restrict access to your text so sometimes they check your uh, text only in input boxes where you actively working include emails messages documents so those are some of the notifications that they give you and they also respect your privacy here now in this case if you want to read their privacy policy or trust center you can go ahead and click on the appropriate links in this case i want to click on agree here and from here what we need to do is we need to go to the downloaded service sec uh, services section and from here look for grammarly now once in grammarly section just click on the accessibility here click on allow and it should redirect you back into grammarly again now from here it's going to say try it out so if you want to try grammarly first so for example let's just go back real quickly here so i want to say fix uh this uh text here and in here you can just basically start testing grammarly now, as you can see, we already have the Grammarly widget here. So whenever you click on it, you should be able to uh, see some suggestions. So uh, tones in here if you want to improve it or if you want to go to the improve it section. As you can see, this is uh, going to be how, how you use it. Now, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and click on the X at the top right to close this one. So in this case, it's going to uh, reject you to the Grammarly app itself. Now, if you want to change a few things on uh, Grammarly, you could go ahead and go to settings. So, for example, you want to change your uh, quick toggle if you want to enable that. So, you change your language here. So, by default, it's going to be English US. They also have the Grammarly Go here. So, you have to sign up or sign in for you to use it. Now, you also have your account section here. Like for example, if you want to sign in or sign out, this is how you actually uh, do that. So for now, I'm going to click on sign in. And from here, I want to click on my Google account since this is what my Google account, uh, my Google account that I actually use to uh, create my Grammarly account. And in here, once we've done that, we should now be welcome into Grammarly. So let's go ahead and click on agree. From here, choose our account here. So once we are logged in, we should be able to see back the Grammarly account that we have before. And as you can see right now, we have just successfully logged in. So if you're not aware yet, you could actually start using Grammarly for free. So if you want to upgrade that, just click on the upgrade button that you see there. Now, also, if you want to hire Grammarly on specific apps, you could go to block apps here. And from here, you could just basically see what, uh, what are the apps that are blocked. So if you want to block an app from using Grammarly, so it's going to give you some information how to do that. So you just need to drag Grammarly to the bottom of your screen if you want to block an app. So also, uh, you have the share feedback, demo tutorial here, support. So if you want to start writing, you could go to the draft section here and just basically start writing. So at the left side, you should see Grammarly here and you should see some uh, suggestions that you could basically use. So for example, I want to go to my email here. So let's just go back in here and open up our email or Gmail. Now in our Gmail here, say maybe maybe I want to say I want to reply, reply to one of the emails that I received. So for example, I want to reply to the creative market email here or uh, in this one. So in this case, let's just uh, go ahead and click on the tree dot here at the top right or just basically scroll down to the very bottom and you should see the reply button. 
And from here, as you can see, we now have Grammarly at the left side. So if you want to use the reply quickly option, you can just click on it at the left side. And from here, maybe I want to say, uh, I want to thank them for the article and inspiration or if you want to have something very specific or if you want to tell them or write to them on a specific way you could just basically uh, describe it in the bottom section here so for now maybe i want to say thank them for this article here let's go ahead and click on it it's going to give us this option here to read the article first before we cl actually click on the insert button so let's go ahead and click on insert but if you want to improve it you can make it friendly make it persuasive sound professional or if you want to see more just click on the more option so for now, let's just click on insert. Now from here, what we need to do next is we just need to adjust this one. Like for example, your name and a lot more. And yeah, so in this case, uh, you could just change your name or adjust it yourself if you want to. So if you see any uh, red on your Grammarly uh, left section here, you should see the suggestions and imp uh, options to improve it. So for now, there are suggestions on it. Let's go ahead and click on the green button here to apply our changes or the suggested uh, update or suggested correction, and you'll be able to apply it on your text. Now, if you want to block something on Grammarly, you just need to press and hold on Grammarly here make a uh, drag it at the bottom section and as you can see grammarly hidden so this is now block this app you just need to click on it now in this case uh that's how you block an app and start using grammarly here and let's just go back and go ahead and click on this one block this app and from here that should now be block or in your block this in this case using grammarly is actually pretty easy whenever you're writing something on any any app as long as you see the green button at the left side here, you'll be able to uh, use suggestions or even see corrections for text that you're currently writing. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.